it's time for Orchard Skills. In a previous video, we used the Discuss module by Antoine Gifford to add comments on content. This module required an account on Discuss, which is a popular site for managing comments. Today on Orchard Skills, we'll be utilizing a brand new comments module entirely written with the Orchard Core modular framework. This module is called Commentator and was created by Hovani Salgado. We'll be using this module along with the Orchard skills material design theme. Please stay with us and we'll get started. Welcome back. In order for us to get started, we'll need to clone two GitHub repositories. The first one is a commentator, so with your favorite browser, head over to github.com slash j sub 10 slash orchard core dot commutator and click on the green code button select open with github desktop open github desktop dot exe and then hit the clone button okay great next head over to orchard skills slash orchard skills dot orchard core dot material design theme and we'll need to clone the orchard skills material design theme Click on the green code button, select open with GitHub desktop, click on open GitHub desktop.exe and hit the blue clone button. Okay, great. Now open up two instances of File Explorer, one pointing to where you cloned the Orchard Core Commentator repository, and the other one where you cloned the Orchard Skills Orchard Core Material Design theme. And let's copy the Orchard Core Commentator directory and paste it into the Orchard Skills at Orchard Core Material Design theme GitHub directory. Now go into the Orchard Core Commentator directory and make sure you delete the Git repository. This is critical. Go down and select delete and it's gone. Okay, great. Let's head back to the Orchard Skills at Orchard Core Material Design theme folder and double click on Orchard skills at orchard core dot orchard CMS dot SLN, which is a solution. And this will launch Visual Studio. Okay, great. So next we want to click on the solution, which is orchard skills dot orchard core dot orchard CMS. Right click, select add existing project. And you want to select the Orchard Skills at Orchard Core dot Material Design theme folder, and then next select the Orchard Core dot Commentator folder, and you want to select the Orchard Core dot Commentator dot CS Proj file, and click on Open. Okay, one thing we need to do is match the NuGet package version. The Orchard Skills at Orchard Core dot Material Design theme is using the Dev branch, so let's copy the last four digits here, and then go to the Orchard Core dot Commentator project, and let's just replace. The the official RC2 version with the DevRatch version. Okay, great. We want to right click on the Orchard Skills at Orchard Core at Orchard CMS project. We want to open up and go to dependencies, right click and add project reference, and let's select Orchard Core dot commentator and hit OK. Okay, great. Now let's go to the recipe. So let's click on the material design theme and click on the recipe folder and click on material design dot recipe dot json scroll down to the content management and after auto route let's add orchard core dot commentator okay great so next we want to modify our blog post to include comment with our blog post so let's do a control f and let's search for blog post hit enter and let's scroll down and after the markdown part name Let's add part name commutator. Now let's search blog post again. And at the end of the taxonomy content item ID, let's add a commutator part, allow comments to true. After the contained part, also add commutator part, allow comments to true. Okay, great. One other thing we'll need to do is go to the, the views folder and down to content dash blog post dot liquid and let's add module content dot commentator part vertical bar shape renderer and we'll add that right after the blog post dash tag. Okay, great. Okay, let's go ahead and run the application. Let's go up here and click on the little green play triangle. Okay, great. Let's enter our site name and let's select material design theme, select the username and email, put in a password and pass password confirm and click on the finish setup button. Okay, great. Now let's log in to the dashboard. In order for a user to add comments, we're going to have to set the permissions. Let's click on login, enter your credentials, and hit the login button. Click on sales, go to the dashboard, go down to security, go down to roles, and down to anonymous. We'll go ahead and edit that, and we'll scroll down to orchardcore.commentator feature. And 
here you can set post comments allow to true so this will allow anonymous people to add comments so that's how you would enable that feature so let's select that go down and hit the save and then go to our site let's go ahead and log off now let's go to our blog post scroll down to a blog entry we'll take push to start and now let's scroll all the way down to our end of our blog post and now you can see we have comments so let's go ahead and enter one This is a test comment, and you notice we're going to post as anonymous. So click on that. We get a dialogue. Thank you. Your comment was submitted, and it shows us our comment. Isn't that slick? This is a great module. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.